welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to be doing some painting. We're gonna be painting my seamless air tank that I got. Um, I actually got it in an Instagram giveaway. Um, so we're gonna do some painting on that. I got something pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I haven't seen any paint on air tanks like this before. So we're gonna give it a shot. But first, we're gonna have to move the Jetta out of the garage. Then we're gonna get ready. Uh, do some paint prep right here. Got some of it done already, but we need to do a little bit more. Um, so let's get started on that. Enter fancy scene cut now. It's hot in here, I'm gonna turn the air on. And for those of you who are wondering, yeah, I still have a broken foot. I have an actual cast on it. All right, so got the car moved out of the way. Um, we got pretty much everything set and ready for paint. Um, cars are being annoying. Um, so, let me uh, run through this with you guys so you can see uh, the setup and what my plans are for the tank, um, what supplies I'm using, that sort of thing. So, as you can see here, and the noise you're hearing is my amazing scooter that I have to use to get around because I have a broken foot. Don't judge. So, we are using white Plasti Dip. Uh, that'll I'll explain that a little bit more later. Got some masks and gloves. Safety first, everyone. So we have the tank itself. I got these little plugs for all the holes. I got these extended ones so I could rest them on something so I can spin it around and paint it evenly. These are just old paint cans with <laughs> um, paper towels on them. Uh, these are the hangers. Um, these will be staying white, I believe. I might change my mind as we go. Um, these are the mounts for the hangers. Um, and then these will end up mounting to somewhere in the trunk. I'm painting just the, I guess this is the bottom, so it'll end up sitting like that, if you guys can see that. Um, so these will probably end up just staying white, um, but this will not. Um, so my plans for this are to paint it white with the Plasti Dip. Um, I want to do probably like six or seven coats. I want a thick coating of Plasti Dip on it all around. Um, and then I'm actually going to use some special copper paint that I have. I don't have it out yet, um, but I do have it um, in my house. Um, and then I'll show you guys a little bit more of what we're going to be doing with that because it's about to get really cool with that copper paint. Um, so, first thing we need to do is get this tank cleaned up, it's a little dirty, clean it up and then we can start getting the first coat of Plastid Up on everything. So, paint prep is done. Uh, got tank and all the hangers and mounts cleaned. Everything's ready to go. So I'm going to start off with the first coat of Plasti Dip. I'm just going to do a light coating on all these, pretty light. Um, and then we'll wait for that to dry and then start on the second coat. Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm getting starting to get a little bit of that white color on there. Hope you guys will be able to tell. Uh, this is coat number two. Um, it's looking pretty good, trying to get even coverage on everything. I'm going to go ahead and put on the third coat. And I'll probably go up to about, I want to say, at least five coats. Um, so everything is looking good. Let me get this next coat on. Just 
Just got some mad splatter right there. That's great. Always do a test spray. All right guys, so I just finished the sixth and final coat and I'm really happy with the results. Uh, so I am going to finish up here for today. I'm gonna let all of these pieces dry and cure overnight. And then tomorrow we'll take out the copper paint and then we're gonna lay that uh, probably two coats of that on top of the tank and then I'll explain a little bit more of what's going to be going on with that tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to get this all cleaned up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, so it's the next day and I think we're ready to get started on the final touches on this air tank. So let me take you guys through what I have going on for this tank and we will see um, hopefully what the finishing product will end up looking like. I'm pretty excited. What we have here, we have the tank fully painted and ready to go. Um, so this is what we're going to be using. If I can get it to focus. Modern Masters Metal Effects Oxidizing Copper Paint. So basically what this is, it's copper paint and it actually has bits of copper in it. Um, so we're going to paint the entire tank with one coat, um, let that dry, and then once we do the second coat, we spray this on it while it's wet, blue patina aging solution. This will basically react with the copper in the paint, and it'll make a, I guess, replicated patina finish. So that is the goal. Um, I'm probably going to use this roller to roll it on and then maybe use the sponge brush in some of these tighter areas. Um, and then after that, we'll use just basically a little sealer, a Permacoat Extreme. Um, so that's what I have planned. Um, I'm gonna hopefully show you guys a little bit, pour this, um, and then hopefully we can get to painting. So let's see what this all ends up looking like. So we just got the first layer of copper paint on. Hopefully you guys can get a feeling of what it looks like. It looks actually really good. Um, I put it on with the roller. I'm uh, pretty pleased with how it's turning out. Um, the next coat will be going on I think in about an hour. Um, got some striping and some kind of little spots here and there but I think once we get the patina on the spray um, I think you're not really going to be able to tell too much because it'll be covering basically the, the entire tank uh, but yeah that's the first coat done uh, we'll let this dry um, and then we'll come back in about an hour and then do the second coat and then the patina I'll probably do a little time lapse for you guys so you can see the patina kind of start to spread out Alright guys, so here is the finished product, got a real nice coverage, it actually looks really smooth, you can see where the, the patina spray has started to react with the copper in the paint, hopefully you guys can actually tell, it looks really good in person, uh, I like how it came out, I wish there was a little bit more of that patina in there, that color, um, but I'm going to let it um, sit a little bit longer. I don't know really how long. Um, I want to try and see how much of this patina will, how much of that color I can get to come through. Um, and then I'm going to use that uh, sealer to seal it all up so it's kind of so I can stop the uh, that oxidization process. As always, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe. But that's it for me today. Stay tuned to the channel. We got some good stuff coming. And, you know, subscribe if you want to see more. I hope all of you guys have a nice day. Bye.